Hello and welcome. My name is Mr Quartermain and as Head of Department I shall share with you information on the BTEC Level 3 Sport Extended Certificate. The Extended Certificate is the equivalent in size of one A-Level and is made up of four units, two externally assessed and two of which are internally assessed. Each unit is made up of a grade of near pass to distinction and the overall qualification is awarded as pass to distinction staff. In year one, students will cover unit four, which is sports leadership and internally assessed unit. This will mean that students will gather a greater knowledge and understanding of leadership styles, deliver a coaching session within that leadership style, and then to evaluate it. Being an internally assessed unit, this will be done in a written format in the form of an assignment. For unit two, this is an externally assessed unit, and it's what we call a case study, where students will gain a scenario before the actual exam. For this unit, students will need to understand components of fitness, methods of training, and being able to apply effectively to different scenarios. As if you take the form of a personal trainer, when a client comes into their gym, they will then need to do a diagnosis, and then they'll need to put an effective training programme related to the needs of that client. For unit two, you will see that they will study unit one, which is anatomy and physiology. This is a nice progression from GCSE PE and also some of the segments within the OCR, Sports Science Cambridge National. This is where this externally assessed unit will start to assess within a written exam that is made up of uh, short answer and long answer questions on the respiratory system, circulatory system, muscular system and the skeletal system. Unit three, professional development in the sport industry is an internally assessed unit. Therefore, it is assignment based. And this is a lovely unit as this is an opportunity for students to plan their career pathway. They would need to know what jobs are out there, the wage of which they would receive and the qualifications and the experience they would need. For those who are not currently studying at Wayne Jules, we are very privileged to have an array of facilities to not only support our wide and varied curriculum lower down the school, but also to support the units that are delivered within the BTEC Sport course. As you can see, we have a full badminton court sports hall, a traditional gym and a state-of-the-art fitness suite. Hockey Astro, two hardcore areas, cricket nets and an ECB regulated synthetic cricket strip. Outside we have an extensive field including a new full-size football astro that is set to be completed by December 2021. Moving on from expectations, I think it's really important that you start to gain a interest on your, your pathway once you have studied in sixth form. As you can see on the screen, there's just a couple of courses of which you may choose to select at university. These are the courses that our students recently have gone to study and had great success and enjoyment in doing so. I think it's really important that as a student that is going on to study in the sixth form is that you gauge a little bit of an understanding of what your career pathway might look like. And I know that's really difficult. If you look on the screen, you will notice that there is a number of famous people that you may recognise that have actually progressed and gone on to university to study a sports course that has some, in some way helped them in their career pathway. On the left hand side, you've got Helen Glover and Heather Stanning that went on to study sport and exercise science at the University of Wales and you've also got Heather that went on to uh, study sports technology at Bath University. Victoria Pembleton who you may recall uh, for her highly decorated gold medals at London 2012 on the bike but also on reality TV that she went to Northumbria University in order to study sport and exercise science. Current Manchester United midfielder Juan Mata studied sports science. Louis van Gaal, he actually studied to become a PE teacher, which is exactly the same as the one below that, which is ex-rugby um, rugby coach Stuart Lancaster. And at the bottom from that is Sir Dave Brailsford, who went on to study sports science and psychology. So when you're actually thinking about your option, it's, it's as I say, really important for you to think about your career pathway. 
The qualification in sport will help you to gain a greater knowledge and understanding for you to then make that transition to higher education or an apprenticeship a lot easier. There are also other career pathways that you may take. For example, you may go on to be an elite athlete. You may also become a nutritionist. You might be a sports development officer. You could maybe be a personal trainer and have your own gym or along that be a gym manager. If you are interested or unsure on certain career pathways, then it's really uh, key that you may click on the link, which is the careers in sport, and to have a little look at the opportunities that are available to you. I think it's really important that when you're selecting a course at sixth form, is that you're aware of the expectations. It is key, especially at this level, that you have a strong passion for the subject. In this case, the sport and leisure industry, as you're going to be spending a number of hours in lessons and also out of lessons working towards that qualification. You must have excellent attendance and punctuality. Be prepared to research and read around the study content and make sure that you engage in all tasks and activities as this will deepen your knowledge and understanding. Some parts of the course will be practically assessed and also a lot of the theory will be delivered in a practical way. So it's really important that not only do you organise yourself with your kit, but you're also willing to participate. Organisation, once again, is really important. As with this qualification, you have deadline dates that you would need to adhere to. And therefore, your time management is key. If you're one of those that struggles to keep time management, this is a great course for you to try and refine and prepare yourself ready for your either apprenticeship or your higher education course at university. Students will have the opportunity to buy one or more of the garments that you see on the screen. Polo shirt, rain jacket, shorts, tracksuit bottoms or a quarter zip top. These can be purchased from a external company and they will be personalised with name and initials and the course that they are studying. The students studying the sports course will have an array of enrichment opportunities across the two years. That includes the Duke and Vedderborough Gold Award, being able to support certain events, for example, the Berkshire School Games, where, as you can see, our students managed to become qualified tennis officials at Bisham Abbey, to represent the school, for example, the 6 one football team, and also to work with external organisations, in this case, Surrey Human Performance Institute, where they helped out with fitness testing. And also the level three sports leaders. You may have had experience doing the level two, and this is a great opportunity to deepen your knowledge and understanding within this area. This also carries small but significant amount of UCAS points if looking to go to university. Thank you very much for watching the presentation. I hope you found it informative and will help you to make the right decision come to your option selection. If you haven't done so already, please follow on Twitter at PE Rangels. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me at any time.